So what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And uh, yeah, today we're going to do uh, part two of uh, the two issue issue limit series of uh, Mr. Crypt and Friends. In the first uh, issue, Mr. Crypt and uh, Baron Rath had faced off against uh, the villain known as uh, Mr. Crescent, who tried to kidnap and uh, who tried to uh, yeah take an eye eye. It's a native native from native uh, primate from uh, that is, or at least a primate native to Madagascar, it's an island on the east coast of Africa. To uh, to get, take it from its uh, yeah, to Ill illegally get it uh, to where uh, they live now, and uh, to eat it at a feast. They get but uh, yeah, both uh, Bigfoot, Baron Rat. And uh, and uh, Mr. Crypt made sure that didn't happen, and uh, eventually the blimp uh, crashed, just like just like uh, the R101 crash in the fields of France. So uh, yeah, let's go to uh, first. We're going to uh, do it like we always do. First, we are going to do uh, yeah. We basically gave the synopsis already for uh, this issue so we're going to uh, once again part one we're going to uh, discuss who the writers and the artists are part two the synopsis already given to you I'm going to break it down the rest is uh, positives and negatives and uh, yeah the final verdict and uh, what's next which is going to be part three so uh, without further ado let's see if this works So yeah, still out here. Mr. Script is created and written by Tori Vevasis and art by Alexander Jovic and edited by uh, Peter Smetti from Alterna Comics. So uh, yeah, but uh, basically those issues could all be read uh, like uh, yeah standalone issues, but it's better in this case it's better to follow with. Uh, it's kind of the nice thing of uh, bar of uh, Mr. Crypt and friends and Baron Brad. Easily, they're easy to follow. They're not too overly complex, and they have a uh, yeah, the simple, simplistic art style, and uh, yeah, a story that could be read, it could be for all ages. So yeah, part one is uh, Miss Script introduces uh, Carly, Carly, Carlisle, Carlisle, and uh, Bigfoot, and uh, to uh, the ghost of his mother. Berta, and Berta, who uh, for this you need a little background knowledge. For the Ber Berta is uh, is the mother that uh, Baron Rat found at the end of uh, Baron Rat Two. I have I read a few of them, but uh, yeah. Fortunately, you uh, if you want to figure it out, you don't have to you don't have to read to uh, have to read it to understand what's going on. But uh, it might be good to get some background knowledge. But only if you want to and if you're interested. So uh, yeah, Berta welcomes them, Bigfoot, Carly, Carlisle, and uh, she tells him, and uh, she's glad, she's uh, more than honored to meet him. Don't come, she uh, she uh, tells him to come inside. Carlisle admires the house, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Baron Rath is uh, quite a repairman, and uh, yeah, she uh, she's. Uh, Glad that there are some gas over for change. And yeah. So. Yeah, she's a ghost. So he'll never be. And yeah. His, uh, her son, Mr. Crypt, tells her that uh, their fr the friends are now your friends, so you don't have to uh, be lonely again. But then they hear an explosion, boom. Or at least. It seems to be like that, but. The aftermath of uh, the could be the aftermath of the blimp of when the zeppelin or the blimp uh, crashed, the airship of uh, Mr. Crescent. But the we got we got caught in a forest fire, and uh, this one of the ads I actually appreciate because it's uh, Legend of the Lock. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not no longer at uh, Alterna for some reason. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. But uh, yeah. I I understand why. And uh, here's another ad. Two ads this time. Maybe it's better to put them at the end, but 
and the forest catch, catches fire and uh, Bigfoot uh, has to go away to save him. And uh, yeah, she tells him to uh, take uh, Mr. Crypto to the, sh to the shed. She showed him. So, uh, and uh, evil grin on his face. Thanks, Baron Rod. And uh, Mr. Crypto asks him, what, what the hell is she talking about? Well, I'm not sure what Baron Rod and Miss Cardizel are up to, but something tells me they'll need my help. I have to go and see if there's any way we can save the forest. We could save the forest. I know, son. Be careful. And uh, he tells he tells her goodbye. A few minutes later, wow. And uh, yeah, Baron Rod is determined to uh, make to the shed. And she he asks him, she asks him what's so special what about it. Well, what do you know? They got a tank. Awesome. So it's an actual FT-70 tank from the Great War. Yo. Hmm. Of course, another ad. But it's broken. It's would be better to put that ad at the end, but it's broken. Plus, it doesn't look very safe. I think. And she... And he... Uh <laughs> what Baron Rod does. Oh, so you're going to fix that tank? And how long will that take him? The force will be burned to the t bits by the time you're done. Well, not when uh, Baron Rod is around, but uh, he... Uh He works his butt off, and uh, he gives it a nice, n nice coating of paint, and he puts his own image on it. What a surprise! <laughs> this is actually funny. <laughs> yeah, this you had to draw yourself on that tank. Yeah, you did. I know why, but that's awesome. So now, what do you know? How to drive this thing? Uh, nope. Well, I guess I'll give it the old crypty try, and he uh, gives him a uh, and Baron Rod. Uh, chuckles and uh, yeah she t he tells me that the controls th there are a bit different than the race car so can I count you to manner at uh, the turret oof I really need to talk about putting you on a diet and uh, yeah you got a little heavier but uh, bottom rod is uh, ready for action so they break out of the shed and uh, they crash through the, through the walls. And uh, yeah. She tells me that this is horrible. And yeah, the, the, still catch, the force still catches fire. And uh, But what happens here? Mr. Crescent is uh, back from the death. Or he faked his death. And he's ready for action with his own uh, version of the tank. The pathetic skeleton and his pet flea back. Ha! He may have caught me off guard in the airship, but never again. Nothing can defeat me now. Your forest will burn. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my best imitation of an evil laugh. Not so fast, the crescent. And he he uh, he thought he thought that all the tanks were out of commission due to uh, after the great after the great war. But there's not a tank. Another steel commander joins uh, the fight. New challenger approaches. And that's uh, Mr. Cri Mr. Crypt and uh, his uh, pet rat Baron. So that's uh, that's just called what this the pet the the pet Baron. And he uh, and they go on the attack. And uh, here's Guts and Gears again. Another ad. Oh, and uh, they start firing at each other. <laughs> it tells that he just hit them. And they're basically playing wor World of Tanks in a comic in a comic uh, format. Fire. And uh, Mr. Crescent gets a little impatient, and uh, it's all guns blazing. And uh, yeah, like a good steel commander, they make its uh, they make its way. Uh, they dodge every shot. And uh, yeah. And uh, they have to uh, hit the weak spot, spot at the back of the tank. So uh, Baron Rod maneuvers behind it, turns around him. And he tells me that they shoot him at the back of the tank for finish. And uh, they fire now and uh, they need to fire at the back. And uh, they make it at the back and what happens is... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, well the fire war started. So next...
Mm, not really interested. And uh, yeah, the tank has been blown up. They tell him that it's uh, Mr. Carlisle tells uh, him it's over, but he makes a run for it. His uh, soldiers as well. And that's soldiers. And uh, Mr. Crypt uh, goes uh, on the pursuit. But uh, Bigfoot uh, assures that his plans come to an end. And he, uh, and, uh, he, get, he gets put in a cage. They only serve cold leftovers. Then the town jail only serves cold leftovers. And uh, yeah. Bigfoot thanks them. And uh, yeah. Fighting more damage, we can't do anything to help. Oh, it will be alright. We can plant new trees and place ones with lost in the fire. And uh, so, the story ends. Job all. Aside from some casualties, it came to an end. The villain got caught. And uh, yeah, the tank got blown up, and so there's only one uh, tank standing, so uh, left standing. So uh, there's some uh, infinite, cr there's some things of old campaigns. So uh, yeah, oh, giantcops.net. Yeah, I need to check it out there if I can find the rest of the issues that I need. But uh, yeah, there's some ads, infinite chronicles, and the legend of the log. I need to put I need to note uh, to put the note down www.giantcomics.net because I want to read the rest of the the log. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I must say uh, I read it two times now. We'll go to the Bastis and Nectis. Bastis is the art is uh, better. Same same art style but a little more simplistic and uh, a little. But not it's not a real realistic one. It's like like cartoonish, a little bit more simplistic, and uh, but it suits uh, the format, it suits an all age story. It's fun, a fun all age story, and yeah, I said uh, the fun part is it is fun. It's a little more fast paced than the previous one, and uh, thank goodness for that. And uh, yeah, it, everything just flows better than the first one. So yeah, the really catching steam, so our steam is is fire. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a huge improvement over the first one, and uh, yeah, nice to see uh, give them to see uh, Mr. Crypt's mother give him some emotional support and the rest, and uh, yeah, overall great cover art, what you expect from it, and uh, yeah, you can't keep a good feeling down like shown, but eventually he gets caught. His tank got uh, destroyed, so uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a good read in both physical and digital format, like you see right here. The negatives, hmm. only the, there are only a few ads that were in places like before. Uh, yeah, here it suits it because it's a Legend of the Lock. It has a little more yeah close connection to it. But uh, over here, here's the tank here but scroll a bit through it on this uh, here you go wait a minute it's over here oh yeah here so they go and then you get an ad then they'll fire at each other would have been better if they just put if they remove that ad and put it at the end that's only negatives the rest of it is uh, oops as you can see it's a huge improvement over the first issue, and uh, I really like where this is going. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. It's really random, just uh, let the rod uh, pilot, pilot the turret, so, uh, to shoot uh, and to uh, destroy the tank, and to see him how Bar Baron Rod's abilities are. Rat, rat, rat. It's rat, I think. To see uh, our little guy have uh, his piece of the action, it's really fun. I liked it a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could read this with your kids, or I, I don't know if it's suited for a comic format, but it could fit a, a digital format like a web comic as well easily. But uh, yeah, I don't want to stick to digital and physical. I totally understand. So uh, yeah, final verdict. I scored this an uh, an eight out of ten. It's really a uh, good. Uh, I d I didn't expect it to be better than the first one, but that yeah. Uh, 
they managed to pull it off. So uh, yeah, props for that. And uh, yeah, part three will follow uh, in the next uh, at the end of uh, January, I think, or next week, whenever I have time. So uh, yeah, till then, uh, talk to you guys later. Hasta la próxima. Deva matane.